here to weigh in is former U.S. Congresswoman and the daughter of a legal immigrant, Nan Hayworth. Nan, good morning to you. Thank you, Steve. Great to be with you. Why do you think uh, Newsbusters had a headline, uh, yes. I think, yesterday? ABC and NBC ignore Tijuana locals protesting the caravan. And that was where it showed the people of Mexico yeah. actually yelling at the migrants saying, go home. Right. Independent validation from citizens of our southern neighbor uh, that the caravan, in fact, uh, is abusing uh, the uh, right to, uh, the so-called, the purported right to be in in Tijuana awaiting uh, illegal entry into the United States. And that goes against the media's narrative about the whole caravan. And a lot of the narrative, uh, and we were t- she was talking about this yesterday, is that they would like to, to believe that it's women and children right. fleeing violence. But the reality is it's mostly young men, yes. single men as well. Uh, and they either want a job, they want right. to, you know, right. they've got a bad life down there, uh, very poor. They either would like to have a job or they would like to be reunited with their families. But those are not reasons to apply for asylum. Right. Those are not an existential threat based on an oppressive government trying to kill you, uh, as is the case with Azia Bibi in Pakistan. Uh, Not these folks with whom we sympathize, but we have legal pathways for people to become American citizens. And the citizens of Tijuana who are protesting their presence are pointing out that there are legal pathways that they should be respecting. Do you think part of it is the, the the mainstream media doesn't want to actually address what's going on down there because that's kind of what Donald Trump has been saying all along and they don't want to make him uh, validate what he said. Yes, Steve, I think that's a big part of it. They have a lot invested in delegitimizing President Trump and delegitimizing the Americans who support him in a very reasonable reasonable, rational, and common sense contention that if you want, we welcome immigrants like my mother, but we have a process. And you know, Fox had a great story yesterday with people who are going through the legal process to immigrate here. And it was absolutely poignant. These are folks, a man from Cameroon who said, I don't want to go to the southern border and jump the fence. Uh, You know, and he was pointing out that he's trying to do it legally. Why should these folks, uh, because they're insisting on entering at the border, why should they be given that privilege? Right. And uh, Donald Trump ran on, among other things, the wall and tightening our southern border as well. And then you've got the Department of Homeland Security secretary yesterday saying that uh, the federal government has identified that there are at least 500 criminals in this caravan right now. Absolutely. Well, Ami Horowitz uh, has done some great reporting from the caravan, and he's interviewed people in the caravan. Tucker Carlson had him on a couple mm-hmm. of nights ago. Uh, and talking about these these folks who are in the caravan are saying that there are criminals among them. No doubt. You know, this kind of situation with desperate people who are crossing Mexico illegally uh, are bound to be vulnerable uh, to criminals. And, of course, we know that criminals are seeking to get into this country. Sure. Well, the next question is going to be what's going to happen now that this uh, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals judge has put on hold the president's uh, dictum where he said, uh, you know, if you try to enter the country illegally, you know, uh, swim across the river or uh, go across the desert, you will not be able to apply for asylum. And so now that's on hold awaiting, uh, you know, obviously they're going to appeal it. Right. If you want to come to this country as an asylum seeker, come to a legal point of entry so that we can process your claim appropriately. Yes, Steve, because of the Ninth Circuit, now there will be more disorder, uh, more necessity to let people go into the interior of the country, possibly not to return because their claims have yet to be adjudicated. And I'm glad that President Trump is going to press it to the Supreme Court level. He's going to have to Uh, have their help Mm -hmm. again to uh, uh, respect the sovereignty of our borders. All right. Uh, Nan Hayworth, former U.S. Congresswoman and uh, Board of Directors member, Independent Women's Forum. Thank Thank you for joining us. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Thank you. You too. 